مرحبا بكم على صفحة ترسانة يمكنكم أيضا متابعة تسجيلاتنا والمقالات الكاملة على موقع ترسانة دوت نت This information comes from the media Iran International, which is based in the United Kingdom, and we can legitimately doubt its veracity, because it comes from a media organ, belonging to the opposition taking refuge in Europe. These critics of Iranian power, have every interest in exaggerating Tehran's threats. That said, the news may turn out to be right, given the sequence of events. According to the UK-based news outlet, Iran International, an unnamed advisor to Iran's intelligence minister, revealed at a ceremony at Kazvin International University, that China is in the queue to receive 15,000 Iranian drones, with the ally being a major customer, amongst 90 countries seeking to benefit from Tehran's extensive UAV industry. After the operational success of the Shard 136 attack drones, which were supplied by Iran to Russia, it is not surprising that new customers are interested in acquiring similar systems. Some sources even suspect the Iranians of having provided the Russian forces with underwater drones. These drones, which navigate submerged in complete discretion, can carry out reconnaissance, observation and surveillance, and above all, can destroy targets with their explosive charges. Apparently, these underwater drones have already been used in Ukraine quite recently. The Russians would also be interested in other Iranian weapon systems, such as ballistic missiles or cruise missiles. But this information was denied by Tehran. Without specifying the types of drones concerned, an Iranian official has revealed that China is one of the leading customers of Iranian manufactured drones and that a large shipment is set to be sent to Beijing amid the ongoing controversy over Tehran's supply of unmanned aerial vehicles to Russia. Since the day we turned to the east, the west could not bear it and an example was the war in Ukraine, the advisor said, referring to Iran's arming of Russia with drones throughout its ongoing invasion of Ukraine. When Tehran's role in militarily supplying Moscow was revealed months into the war last year, it at first denied it, before admitting to it, with the claim that it did so months before Russia launched its invasion. Since then, however, Iran has only deepened its cooperation with the Kremlin by continuing its drone supplies to Russian forces, with the Wall Street Journal reporting this month that the two allies are moving ahead with plans to build a new factory within Russia that could produce at least 6,000 Iranian-designed drones for Moscow's war effort. Numerous Western nations have imposed sanctions on Iran over its active assistance, and the United States has curbed exports to Iranian firms responsible for producing the drones using American components. In conclusion, if this information is correct, it represents a major development and will promote the Iranian military industry globally. إذا أعجبكم الموضوع فادعمونا بالضغط على زر الإعجاب والاشتراك أو زر الجرس ليتم إخباركم بكل نشر جديد يمكنكم المساهمة بتعليقاتكم وبأرسال الفيديو إلى معارفكم المهتمين